Now let's look at the switch statement in PHP. And let's go ahead and add another grade type, just to make it a little more interesting. So we'll define an audit grade type, which is audit. And then here, we could add another else if statement, but we can also use a switch statement. So basically, any time that you have a value that's in a set of specific values, you can use a switch statement. So it's a little less powerful than an if statement, but, uh, but it comes in handy sometimes. And let's look at what the syntax is like. So we'll say switch, and then the thing that I'm switching on. So it's going to be the value of grade type. And then this is going to be in a specific set of values. So grade type can either be pass fail or letter grade or audit. And I want to do something different for each of those different grade types. So inside the switch, I list the different cases. So there's a case for grade type equal letter grade. And if grade type is letter grade, this is what I want to do. So let me cut that out of here and paste it in here. And then when I get to the end of this block of code, I want to break out. So this is a really important step that's easy to forget but break there. And this will jump to the end of the switch statement. If I don't have this break statement, it's going to execute the next case clause. So we'll see that in a minute. So here's the next case clause. If, if the student is pass fail, then I'm going to do this chunk of code. And once again, at the end here, I want to go ahead and put a break statement in. So that's going to jump to the end of the switch statement after outputting the student passed or failed. And then I have another case for audit. And in the audit case, I just want to echo that the student is auditing. And once again, a break. And then finally, I can catch any other case. So if grade type isn't equal to this, or equal to this, or equal to that, if it's equal to anything else, then I do this default action. And here, I'm just going to go ahead and e e echo unknown grade type. And then I'll echo the grade type. And I really shouldn't get here because I'm checking to see that grade type is a valid value before I execute this code. But it doesn't hurt to include it, and sometimes it can catch errors that you weren't expecting later on. So it's a good thing to do it. And I also don't need this break clause here because after it finishes this line of code, it's hitting the end of the switch statement anyhow. So this break is redundant because actually it will put me right here before the curly bracket, which is where I would have been anyhow, even without the break. But once again, it's a good idea to include it anyhow. And then I don't need this code anymore. So if I've done everything correctly, letter grade pass fail should do the same thing as before. Audit is still going to give me an error because I don't know the, the audit type. So it's going to say the grade type must either be letter or pass fail here. So let's rewrite this as well to use a switch statement. And this time we're going to see what it looks like without the, um, without the break clause. So here's a piece of code that's going to do the same thing as above. So switch on grade type. And watch what I do. I'm going to say case letter grade colon case pass fail colon case audit colon. So if it's any of these, I'm just going to break. 
So that'll jump to this end. And then default. And then here, I'm going to execute this. So look at what this is doing. If it's any of these grades, it's going to execute this break statement and skip to the end. If it's anything other than these values, then it's going to output this error message and exit. So I should be able to get rid of this now. And let's try it out. So student passed. Student's grade is B. Student is auditing. If I leave it out entirely, I need to specify a grade type for the student. And if I give it something that's not a valid grade type, like uh, senior, grade type must be either letter, audit, or PF. So this will work with both strings and numeric values. It will also work with Boolean values. The important thing to remember, though, is that it has to actually match one of these things exactly. So it's like saying, if grade type equal equal letter grade, and then this is else if grade type equal equal pass fail, and so on. So it's a little more restricted than an if statement, but it sometimes comes in handy.